Addiction is so powerful. Even your kids, you don't stay clean for them. It's not that you don't want to, it's just like you can't. It takes over everything. We had learned that our cousin Matt was struggling with heroin addiction. It got to this point where it's not if, it's just like we're thinking, when is something bad going to happen? I've always been into sports, and it wasn't supported in my family, so I had to study, you know, college, PhD, or stuff like this, and I, it wasn't me. And so it was my way of protesting, I guess. Like I was climbing, biking, and I stopped everything, and I just pretty much wrecked my life at that point. <laughs> One day we got that call, he had passed away, he had overdosed. Biking is the one thing that helps me so much. Biking for me, it was the light. Finding the brothers and Opie Cure, it gives my story some kind of purpose. I was working in detox, I was seeing all of these stories of people that were struggling, and then we were hearing it firsthand with our, our cousin Matt. I thought, okay, we gotta, we gotta try to do something to help. We had this idea, we really wanted to work with people that were in recovery from opioid use disorder, and we wanted to showcase the power of the bike. Our ultimate goal is to create lifelong cyclists. The bike has been such an effective tool in our lives, taking us all over the world. And so we kind of just got to work. We built out a really strong team of doctors. Started working it into my treatment when I was working at the detox unit. And I'd say to someone who was struggling through their detox, I'd say, what about the bike? Do you remember riding the bike? It was like this light bulb would go off. They'd smile and they'd remember. They're like, yeah, you know, I remember riding a bike when I was a kid. I'd follow up, well, that was probably during a time when you weren't using. That was a positive moment in their life. When I was about 11 or 12, my mom decided she didn't want three kids in a car. And she was like, if you want to go somewhere during the summer, we're going to have to find a different way. And so I think when I was 12, we bike piked for the first time and I just fell in love with it. Moving like on a bike was the best feeling ever. And uh, I got a book, same thing, like same age, about a family traveling the world on a bike. And I was like, that's what I want to do in life. Immediately we just knew Lucy was like the perfect first person to kind of, you know, trailblaze this idea of ours to showcase that it really could work. So that was how we kind of joined forces with Lucy. She grew up you know, bike packing with her family. These were all like really cool memories for her. And I was like, okay, let's bring that bike back into your life. Let's take you to these events. Let's get you into this community. That transformation really was cool to see. She seems really motivated. I think having the four Belgian waffle events to go to and having them kind of spread across the year has made it something to aim for. If I have something coming up and you know like your brain goes into all you should use or life is so hard, just numb everything and I'm like, no, I, biking is stronger than everything. Like for me, it's just, it's magical. It, it really is. I mean, everything's a bike race, right? Like you're just trying to get to the finish line. Whether it's you're at Belgian Waffle Ride and you're trying to finish 137 miles with you know your new closest friends, or you're struggling with an addiction, you know you still have to get to that finish line and you still have to, you know, fight each day and or each pedal stroke and it just you know you're just trying to get to the finish. Your brain, your head is like, don't do this. Why are you doing this? You can't do it. The feeling you get at the end, like I thought I couldn't do it, but I did is the most amazing thing. I finish and I'm like, oh yeah, that's why. A bike race is the same as recovery. It's if you can do it, 
if you want one stroke after the other, one day after the next, if you do it, if you don't stop and if you go in the right direction, you're gonna make it. It's something that can change anybody's life, really. If you, you get onto the bike, the doors just start opening. The last 20 miles, I was dreaming about this moment where they were gonna see me. They think I win. Seeing me push and finish and be happy about it, I think it's inspiring for them. I mean, I would do anything for my kids, and it's been a very big part of me trying to fight through all of this. I want them to be happy. I want to give them the world. If they find their passion, that's all I want for them. Something that makes you stronger, something that makes you want to wake up the next day that excites you. The fact that now I'm part of this OP Cure Foundation, it really gives me a purpose. It's just like if people can hear this and try it and come bike with us, it's going to help them, I'm sure, like positive 100%.